Okay friends, I think we are live. I think we are live here in Mitaka. Let me know if we are live. Oh, it is cold. We are live. Great. Great. Welcome to Mitaka. This is where I ended the stream last night. Um, obviously it looks quite different right now because last night it was dark. Now it is midday. Um, and it's a very nice day to boot. So that's great. I think this will be a nice walk. Mitaka. Quite a major station on the Chuo line, actually. Uh, maybe not as big as um, as uh, Kichioji, but uh, still pretty big. Uh, so yeah, yesterday I came from this direction, came up these stairs, and ended the stream here in front of the um, station. And today I will just continue following the trucks. We'll see how far we will make it today. First, I had this ambitious plan of walking all the way to uh, Tachikawa, but I realized that's probably pushing it a little bit too far. So I think um, I will try to make it to Kunitachi today, which is uh, about 11 kilometers away. That you can see it's so clear so you can see the mountain range in the distance it's really beautiful i always love when it's this clear and you can like really make out the mountains and see some of the snow covered caps and whatnot it's, it's really beautiful uh, and I also maybe before we get going so we I, I mentioned this to to those of you who are idling in the chat before the stream started but um, I actually set up this wallpaper photo archive archive I talked about that uh, in an earlier stream and now it's up and running so so far um, my let's see if we can do this in a way to minimize reflections mm. Not so easy, eh? Uh, so far, my Patreon followers have access to this. Uh, so it's uh, an archive where some of my photos can be downloaded in high resolution uh, to use as uh, wallpapers. Um, so if you want to get access to this, you should join my Patreon. Um, there will be also a YouTube member membership tier that will get access to these. Um, as long as uh, as soon as um, YouTube approves it but um, if you are willing to support me in that way it's much better if you do it through patreon so please consider that if you are interested and I will keep adding photos to this archive continuously so um, yeah for those of you who want some nice Japan photos um, please uh, you know, check it out. So I think from here on, basically, this is the fourth episode of this Chuo Line walking series. And so far it's been more or less urban all the time. But I think from here on, um, you will notice that things get a little bit less dense. There will be fewer high-rise buildings and probably also more greenery and maybe a rice field or two. Uh, so I think it's gonna be nice. And uh, if you look up on the Google Maps, you will see that I probably made it more than halfway to Takao by now uh, or at least by the end of this stream so yeah I think I think probably 
three after this there will be maybe three more walks then I should arrive at Takao so that's uh, that's gonna be a huge milestone the fact that I walked the entire Chuo line all the way to Takao that's not that's it's not the entire Chuo line um, but uh, yeah all the way to Takao that's I think something to be kind of proud of uh, beer o'clock uh, might very well happen yes also here's some cones, cones for you Ray It already feels quite different from central Tokyo in terms of that you can see much more sky <laughs> than what you usually can in central Tokyo. here for another 30 minutes oh yeah looks like there's lots of trains like that there's a train depot or something around here <laughs> people always ask me if I've been to the States uh, yes two times once in New York and uh, once to uh, Hawaii but that's all I would love to see more of more of it sometime hmm feels like my gimbal is acting a bit weird that it's kind of drifting automatically See, I might have to restart it if it doesn't resolve itself. Let's go up here and see if we can get a little bit of overhead perspective. I think we can. Yeah, the gimbal is really starting to act weirder and weirder. Maybe I've used it too much. I haven't had it that long, but it has seen plenty of views though. Ooh, nice Mount Fuji view. Let's see um, if we can get a good shot of that. So we have Obviously, we have Mitaka down there. That's where I started the walk. And if we keep on walking, uh, again, if you look on a map, you will see that this train line is super straight. It's almost like just someone drew a straight line on the map. Um, I kind of wish that I could set the manual focus here, but that doesn't seem to be possible. A oh, popular photo spot this. Uh, but yes, let me... 
my gloves and let's see if we can get a view of that that mountain that good old mountain pretty nice pretty nice Fuji Sun view today as you can see it's snow a lot of snow on top of it now that appeared quite recently actually I think just a few weeks ago there was not so much snow let's also see just want to show you this these uh, super straight train lines it's a little bit difficult to get a good view because of this fence but yeah just a moment what's the name of the mountain? that's Mount Fuji probably the most famous mountain in Japan Let's keep on walking. mother was there just a few meters away parts of Tokyo are very residential uh, like I said it will be more and more countryside oh, was it I'm not sure I didn't take notice of that I'm, I'm afraid yeah in future streams I hope to show you like the real countryside parts of Tokyo which is like even past Mount Takao there's some area areas which are like super rural but they're still part of Tokyo uh, it's super nice around there uh, it's 12.30 uh, here today uh, and I think I should also give you a weather update right? Eight degrees clear it will stay clear but it won't get that much warmer today very dry 
and a bit windy and actually one of the wind muffs uh, on my case um, got loose so I hope it won't be a lot of wind noise today I will repair it as soon as I get back home but for today's stream only one of the mics are covered with the with the windshield so hopefully that will be all right nice weather prefer perfect for walking yes indeed it is it, it is What brand of gloves do you have? Uh, these are Montbell. They're good. They, they have this uh, smartphone capacitive functionality. They work okay uh, to use with the phone, but they're not perfect. Uh, but they're doing their job quite well. Glove reveal, yeah. little park with some field here <laughs> interesting let's take a look cute little yeah farm here are you going to pass near Ghibli museum no uh, I'm already past that area and uh, uh, so no gimbal reveal Maybe if I pass a convenience store, I can buy some glue and just reattach it. Uh, let's see, especially if it keeps being a windy day today. I think we want that windshield. It makes a huge difference, apparently. Tokyo city center are you now? Uh, I don't know uh, to be honest about about eight hours walk um, if someone can look it up on a map how far away I am from Ginza that would be highly appreciated under the train tracks here I always enjoy riding this Chuo line because the train tracks are eleva elevated most of the time so you get a pretty nice view and especially since the surrounding landscape is pretty flat and there's not that many high-rise buildings so it's generally a pretty nice train ride
happens to be close to Machida and Sagamihara. No, that's not that's not the case actually. Uh, I'm pretty far from Machida and Sagamihara. Those places are much further south. So now I'm in Mitaka in the west of Tokyo. Cold and crisp day today. Mitaka to Tokyo, 22 k's. Okay, okay. So yeah, 22 k's from central Tokyo. Ooh, cold in Finland. Minus seven. So here they have one of these paid bicycle parkings, which are pretty common in Tokyo. I think I mentioned that uh, before. In Russia minus 32. Wow, that is seriously cold. Brisbane sounds nice. Uh, I need to go to Australia. I think we're approaching next station, which is Musashi Sakai. I think it looks like station building over there. never been here before where do you get your news from uh, is that a question for me uh, many different sources. Uh, I do watch Japanese television news. I read Japan Times, Japan Today, uh, New York Times, uh, and a handful of uh, Swedish sources as well. So a little bit of everything. Sorry, I did not check out that Talasuan yet. Forgot about that. Favorite news is the onion. <laughs> not really. In that case, it would be the rising wasabi. I don't know if you know about that, but that's it's a hilarious Japanese satire news website, which is very very funny. It's kind of like the Japanese version of the onion. Yeah, check it out, the rising wasabi. Yeah, I 
definitely doesn't feel like central Tokyo neighborhood anymore. It feels more like a bit more countryside. Ah, thank you, Irvan. Thank you for always stopping by and being so generous. Appreciate it. So yeah, as you can see, like the station areas tend to always be pretty lively. And then there's always super quiet streets between the stations. Sashisakai. Can you take us into a Japanese market? Um, I don't know exactly what you mean with market. There's not so many markets in Japan. It's more like supermarkets in that case. Um, but uh, uh, basically I'm always a bit reluctant to shoot inside shops because uh, you shouldn't do that without permission. Like a supermarket, I see. Um, yeah, generally I prefer not to shoot inside shops um, without permission. Happy 21. Was it difficult to transition from photography to videography? Uh, I can't say that I have transitioned to videography, uh, to be honest. The only video I do is what I do here on my YouTube channel, and it's just live streams from a mobile phone. So my other work is still photography, almost exclusively photography. It does happen from time to time that I do a little bit of video as well, but it's uh, it's not something I'm very comfortable with, and uh, it's not something that I, you know, try to promote or anything. By the time you explore all stations in Tokyo, we can be expert next time we come back to Tokyo. Yes! Imagine if I manage to walk all the train lines in Tokyo. That's gonna take... I don't know, that's gonna take years, probably. There's just so many train lines. little local cake shop here. Mmm, cocktail and hamburgers. Nice. And then once I do, once I have covered all the all the train lines with live streams, then I guess I have to do 4K videos of them. So then I just have to start all over again. <笑>畑を見つけられましたか。まだは畑、ま、小さい畑だけいましたでもこ多分これからもっとなんか田舎っぽいの景色になると思います。Okay, Bill, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it's getting late in some parts of the US, right? It's, what, midnight on the East Coast now? So, 
train lines over there so um, just walking next to the train lines right now I don't speak Japanese so could I get around in Tokyo you can there's a lot of people who are living here long term who don't speak Japanese but uh, it gets so much more enjoyable yeah the more Japanese you know Interesting, interesting little shop here in someone's house. Let's cross, let's walk the other side. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, this, these taking care of my daughter. This side is much more, I don't know, quiet and somewhat boring. <laughs> yes, Yari, don't drunks. Do you think the clip free feature for live streams will have some uh, effect on channels? I don't even know what the clip feature is to be honest. I haven't looked into it at all. So uh, I don't know. Ah, arigatou gozaimasu, Choco chan. Itsumo tanushimi ni shitemasu. Ototokai mono nonde ne. Arigatou gozaimasu. Craft food plus. I've heard of craft beer, but what's craft food? Ah, nice spa. That means nice super chat. Narodo ne. Zutto nanka shenakata. Yoku mita no nice spa. Demo imi ga mataku shenakata. Let's go back to this side. I think it was more interesting here, right? drive no I have no license how much time do you have now uh, I'm thinking about roughly three hours today for this stream then I'm going to meet some friends at a corona safe location uh, for an afternoon beer Favorite prefecture for food? Hmm, that's difficult. I'm always very pleased when I go to press tours to the north of Japan. So up in Tohoku, like um, Iwate, uh, Akita, Aomori. Around there, the food tend to be very, very tasty. But 
basically the food is great everywhere in Japan. I haven't been anywhere where there's like bad food in this country. Food in Tohoku is better than Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's great food in Tokyo too. Tokyo you can get everything. But uh, you can get it for way less up in the north. なんか駅の距離が結構遠いので自転車がないと多分ちょっと大変かもしれないですね ah, So here we have a different train line I see Chuo line is that one up on the elevated tracks This, I think, is a smaller private line that runs down to Fuchu, Chofu. Come on. Hopefully, we can cross the track somewhere. In Europe, we worship the potato. Yeah, we do. We really do. Yeah, it's seafood, snow crab and squid. You can get so much great food up in the north. Sable line? No, this is not sable line. Uh, this is some small line because there's only one track so it's not very frequently used uh, and it goes kind of like downwards to the south whereas the Chua line is going straight to the west from here Should we take this street? Oh, no, let's see the next one maybe Ah, oh, Seibu Tamagawa line. That's probably it, yes. I don't think I've ever used that line, but one day I shall walk following those train tracks as well. Oh, and here you can buy, you can buy a house. Mm, three rooms plus living, dining, kitchen. 57 million yen. 15 min minutes walk from the station, so a little bit far from the station actually. Do you think Olympics will happen? No, I don't think Olympics will happen. will be done. Mm, I don't know. I, I, probably if it was only up to the government maybe but because of that it's something that they're doing in conjunction with the rest of the world I don't see any chance of actually being able to pull it off. Here we have some nice old danchi, like this old public housing. We always enjoy those. Haven't lived in one though. Not sure if I would love, want to live in one, but I like the way they're laid out with always some like common green space in front of them. But 
the walls are super thin in those. I'm not sure. Because they're actually, I mean, they're con concrete structures. So I don't think it's that bad, actually. A flimsy wooden apato is probably worse in terms of thin walls. ジュージブリはこの辺ではないですね。もっとなんか見たかの方じゃないですか？この辺のちょっとスタジオジブリから遠いと思います。ランチが家賃が安いですよ。そうですね。安いですね。Uh, let me take a look at a map. Maybe I should not walk this direction. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's head back to the train tracks and follow those for a little bit longer. Pizza for supper. Mm. I'm getting a bit hungry. I need to grab lunch at some point during this stream. I don't know, all this talk about pizza makes me actually a bit like make me crave pizza a little bit. Let's see what we can find around next station area. If there's like some nice little bento shop, that would be good as well. Maybe a bento and some and a beer. Are there any Swedish restaurants in Tokyo? Yes, there's a few, but they're from my experience they're all pretty bad but then again Swedish food is pretty boring and bad as well so I guess that makes sense all right freshness burger I could do that if there's a freshness burger at next station I will get a freshness burger for Jenny Skunk she donated some money for a fresh freshness burger meal a while ago, so I shall Google a freshness burger place for you. Thank you, Ray. Please do. Please do. What's the next station again? That's a good question. I don't know. 
now we're so far out on the Chuo line that I'm really not familiar with it. Uh, ah, Higashi Koganei. Do they sell Swedish fish candy in Japan? No, I haven't seen it. And I haven't seen it in Sweden either. I mean, we have like this fish candy, but it's very different from the American Swedish fish candy that I've tried. But the American one was really good though. I like that one. What's an authentic Swedish dish? I mean, the most famous one that I think most of you have had tried and know about would be like meatballs with potatoes. That's pretty typical, traditional. Like basically back in the days, Sweden used to be pretty poor and all the food we had was like potatoes, some like root vegetables and some meat and fish. And because of the climate, the season is pretty short when you can grow things. Oh, nice. They, there's lots of small shops here. Oh, share pizza. What is that? Uh, tempting. Tempting. Pizza. But let's see. Now I did promise to... Uh, get that um, freshness burger so let's see if we can make that happen ah, thank you Josef thank you very much for the super chat Do you have Sweden owned IKEA in Tokyo? I think so. I think all IKEA are Swedish owned. They probably have like a Japanese subsidiary or something, but I think they are fundamentally it's a Swedish company. Uh, was it Kokobunji? No, Higashi Koganei is the next stop that I'm uh, that I will be arriving at. Kokubunji is pretty far still. Yeah, I just passed Musashi Sakai. That was the last station I passed. You can have a freshness burger and a slice of pizza. Now we're talking. Am I that hungry? Maybe. Maybe I am. Let's see. Let's start with one and then if I have the capacity to to get both, I will. <laughs> but this is interesting. It looks like these are all relatively new, all these shops below the train tracks. I'm always a big fan of that when they utilize the space in ways like this. Oh, here's actually a bento shop. Oh, evening bento, it says. So maybe not daytime bento. Burger and pizza, wow, such junk. Good thing that I will walk a lot today and burn plenty of calories that way. Nearest freshness burger looks to be on the north side of Musashi Koganei. Okay. I am at Hisashi Koganei now. So, and I am on the north side of the tracks. So, uh, that sounds good. Do you like natto? Ah, not really. I can eat it, but I don't think it's particularly tasty. But it's not like, I don't think it's disgusting either. Sweden has free college even for foreigners. Oh, we used to. Now I think it's only free for Europeans, but non-Europeans have to pay since maybe five years ago or something, they changed it.
So I think this is the station over here. Natto tastes a bit like sweaty socks, old sweaty socks. Uh, or smelly cheese is also not too far away from, from it. It smells pretty unpleasant. But it tastes better than it smells. So now we are at north side of Higashi Kogane. So where's that freshness burger? I need to Google it as well. Uh, there's a Pizza Hut. Burger. Okay. Uh, no, looks like, according to my Google, there's no freshness burger near Hikashi Kogane. It's it's there's one near Musashi Kogane, which is the next station. Uh, That looks like it should be the nearest one. Uh, but it's a little bit far from the station. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, here is Higashi Kogane station anyway. Um, yeah, let's keep on walking. I think I can do another stop before we before eating anything should be wrong. Well rents are cheap here. Thirty-four thousand yen. Thirty-six thousand yen. That's pretty cheap. ね、僕もちょっとなんか空いたね。まだランチ食べてない。え、340dollars. Uh, yeah. Monthly rent. That uh, is for a small apartment around here. So, it's way cheaper than in central Tokyo. Another big bicycle parking lot. And again, these are paid parking lots. You usually have to pay to park your bike in Japan. 
And I think this area, like the stations are so far between, so a lot of people use their bikes a lot uh, just to get to the station. Bikes locked up? Yeah, probably. People generally buy, use locks on their bikes here. And also they're locked, like when you park them, they get locked and you have to pay to unlock the parking space. So it's quite windy around here. I hope the wind noise is not too annoying. Almost walked for an hour now. for being so silent I was just updating myself on my bearings a little bit um, okay good to hear that it's not too awful the wind noise that is <laughs> I'm not sure if the parking rate is half for unicycles. I, I don't think I've ever seen a parked unicycle anywhere in Japan. Yeah, this train line is really super straight. Just I mean, this is kind of boring to me. I want to not walk straight under the tracks actually. Let's see if we can find a, a more interesting route on the other side of the of the tracks. It was better. Oh, thank you, Victor, for the super chat. Thank you very much. It's very generous of you. Here's some more cones for Ray. Oh, 
Oh, here is left side is University of Tokyo Agriculture Campus. I did not know that. Looks much nicer on the opposite side of the tracks actually. Let's just hope that maybe we can cross around here. Five hundred forty-four viewers. Not bad, not bad. Knowledge room. Looks like it's full of knowledge and nothing else. Nothing else in there but knowledge. So, can we walk here? I think we can. Go to 1k viewers. Yes, let's. That would be nice. It's pretty stagnant. I feel that it's always five, six hundred viewers on the streams. It doesn't change that much. Wonder what I can do to increase it. If you walk 200 kilometers north from here, you have to equip snow road. Yeah, then I should get, end up in some really snowy parts of Japan, I guess. Hiro tabemashita ka? Mada, mada. Chotto nakasuita. Ah! Koko wa torenai ka? Oh no, looks like I can't. Yeah, that was dead end. Okay. Looks like I can. Okay, good, good. Just to talk about it, I will go to school and study English. Interesting. Ah, thank you. 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 One of my Japanese viewers says that it's he or she is watching this and it becomes like a English practice. Which I guess it's could be one way of using my streams, I guess. I am trying to get a freshness burger this time, yeah. Let's hope we can find it. When are you going to buy a new pair of shoes? Good question! Soon, I hope. My current ones are getting... I don't know, they don't feel like... It feels like they're not too good for my feet. Maybe they are getting like too worn out. Siren and as always thank you for promoting my stream in your Instagram <laughs> I get notifications all the time I appreciate it uh, here I will just end up on the same boring side of the track so let's let's head one block block further north instead I'm a 
寒くないですかいや寒くないです今日は寒くないですThat's what happens when I when you live here for too long. I think I think so too that my accent are becoming a little bit more uh, adjusted to communicating with Japanese people, which is not really a great thing. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like there's one somewhat far from the train tracks. Um, Kangaitel toki eto te yutten desu ne, so desu ne. Tashikani. Yappari zutto nihon ni sumu to nihon jin poi no nihon go shabe. Riding Kanazawa Seaside Line. I don't know that line, but it sounds interesting. Yeah. There's also a pretty big apartment building. Big park here. Percentage of Tokyo do you think you filmed already? Ooh, 
Uh, it's impossible to answer, but not much. This looks abandoned. Uh, I don't know, 5% maybe? If we are talking all of the city borders of Tokyo, probably 5% or less. It's a big city. And most of my videos are just in the central, relative center of the city, so... Um, it's a huge city. Yes, it is. It is a huge city. Like this Chuo line that I'm walking along now, you know, you can ride it. For an, hour, for an hour it goes straight to the west and uh, you still don't leave the city borders of Tokyo and that's from this kind of center of Tokyo and it extends almost as far not really not as far to the right uh, to the to the east or north or south but yeah it's a big city it's definitely a big city Two kilometers to Freshnesburger. <laughs> do Japanese retirees get pension or social security? Yes, they do. Uh, we have to pay into the pension fund every month. Uh, and then people get a pension when they retire. But unless you save on top of that, uh, the pensions are very, very low. I think many people are getting like less than 100,000 yen per month uh, if they only have like the basic uh, national pension which is not enough to live on in central Tokyo it would hardly pay your rent フレッシュネスバーガーのセットがビューアからもらいましたからできれば今日のランチはフレッシュネスバーガー食べたいと思いますここ入ってるかなレッツ Uh, where are most of your viewers from? Most are actually from the United States. And then number two is Japan. most of your viewers were cones <laughs> let's check shall we um, audience so oh interesting so actually Japan is most of my viewers are Japanese now US is second place and then the rest of the statistics you see here oh huh, interesting that that changed quite recently it used to be US having the most highest percentage big unused piece of land here wouldn't be surprised if they're putting up another 
massive apartment block or something. on doing more Europe time zone friendly walks yeah I mean I'm trying to keep a mix but uh, at the same time and I mentioned this many times before that I basically just do those streams whenever I have time um, so I can't really stick to a fixed schedule right now um, but uh, yeah I, I think I do have a pretty decent mix of time zones like evening and morning streams Yeah, I'm arriving at the next station. I'm not sure if it's Musashi Kogane. Oh, it looks like they're building another high rise apartment block. I think this one is still under construction. So, yeah, Tokyo is definitely spreading out more and more. Mm. Yes, this is Musashi Kogane station. So, did we have a freshness burger around here? Is that what I should be aiming at right now? accent is cute. Thank you. I'm Swedish. <laughs> uh, I think I should turn north here, right? I think so. favorite convenience store chain in Japan. I really don't have a preference to be honest. They're all the same to me. Um, so let me check the map. Let me look up where that freshness burger is. Okay, so let's follow the, let's walk this shopping street and then I will turn north uh, a little bit later.
how is freshness burger better than moss burger i can actually answer that um, i mean it's a preference i wouldn't say one is better than the other uh, personally i prefer freshness burger moss burger has this like tomato and onion sauce that they splash on all their burgers which i guess a lot of people really like but i don't really think it's that special freshness burger is more like traditional normal hamburgers that makes any sense station down there train arriving have you ever been to in and out no i haven't I haven't but i heard a lot of hype about it Again. Oh yeah, I need to walk a little bit further. watch it later oh you can watch my videos anytime they will be on the channel i'm not removing them bacon burger mm, that sounds good i'm a big fan of avocado avocado and burgers mm. i think i will have some avocado burger now quiet residential area again but the house are, houses are pretty big around here or maybe not maybe this is kind of normal size Japanese houses All this talk about burgers make me crave burgers now. <laughs> uh, taking quite a detour for this freshness burger, but I hope you will appreciate that, Jenny. <laughs> Yes, I think so too. So now I am getting somewhat closer. I shall soon turn north. Then getting the burger is just part of the challenge. Then we also need to find a place where I can sit outside and eat the burger. Uh, maybe this little park will do. I think I could sit here and do a little mukbang for you. Unless there's any better park closer to the shop. Avocado and bacon, mm, that sounds good. I might go for that actually.
Have you tried a Nicke 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 burger? No, I have not. Sounds like a burger with lots of meat. I don't think you would find many homeless people in the parks around here. They're probably more in the center of Tokyo. Well, here it's pretty far out. So next street I should turn right. Then I will be pretty much heading straight to uh, Freshness. Maybe up here? Let me check my battery status. 61% battery left. One and a half hours streamed so far. Is avocado and bacon a good combo? I think so. I like that combo. fries with the burger yes I am I am getting fries with my burger I am actually really hungry now I think I will splurge banana ketchup that sounds gross <laughs> I don't think I've heard about banana ketchup before. Is that a thing? Not the one burger. <laughs> There's some table at the shop. Yeah, but I keep saying that I don't want to shoot inside the shops. At least not more than necessary. <laughs> now it feels like we're in some Japanese small town. table outside of Freshness Park. Okay, that would be good. If they have that, I will sit there. So, are we close yet? close to Freshness Burger yet? One more block, maybe? A little bit further. Chiba mitai, so ne? Chotto, tabun, chiba mo naji kanji. Omoimasu ne? Pizza with jalapeno and pineapple works for me. Mmm, that sounds good. Jalapeno is really nice on pizza. I like that too. And as we already concluded earlier, I also do approve of pineapple on pizza. <laughs> なんか小さいの町
の雰囲気はほとんど同じですねちょっとこんな感じ大きいドラッグストアとちょっと古いマンションとツタヤもあるしあっ OK フレッシュネスそうですね栄養線も結構長いですねでもできればいつか京葉線も歩いてみたいと思いますでも中央線の後は多分なんていうなんか東京の真ん中の方の。地下鉄線とか行きたいと思います。Okay, green. <laughs> so here you can return your rented movies in this post box from Staya. Those used to be pretty common back in the days, but nowadays I'm not sure how many people actually rent movies. Yay, freshness, and it definitely looks like I can sit here and eat. Excellent. No one sitting outside. Perfect. Oh, and someone asked for the menu. Here you go. Um, what should I have? might have the classic avocado cheeseburger I think I will go for that mm, so ne I'll have the classic avocado cheeseburger はい、クラシックアボカドチーズバーガーのセットありますかあ、もうすぐいいですねはい、じゃあフライドポテトセットあ、すいませんなしであのー、フライドポテトとビールはい、ポテトとビールのセットではいお願いします ご注文の方は以上でよろしいですかはい、追加で払いますかはい、大丈夫ですはいこちらお支払いが追加ですはいこちらこちらこっちの方にありますはい、ありがとうございますはい、失礼していただいて、一回のお返しいたします即のベラン
I don't know how long it will take until I finish my burger. Hello chat. <laughs> Burger, french fries and beer. Yes. That's... Ah, oh, Stephanie, thank you very much. Thank you very much for sponsoring my burger and beer. Appreciate it. Although this, this specific burger and beer is uh, sponsored by Jenny Skunk and no one else. Oh, thank you Triple X. <laughs> Please have burger and beer on me. Okay, I will have another burger and beer at some point from you. Thank you very much. Uh, no bacon, sorry. Uh, what brand of beer is it? I do not know. Uh, I did not really. Let's see if that's specified on the receipt. Uh, no, it just says set to grass beer, no more beer. I don't know which uh, company it is. Oh, Kampai. Skål. Yes, the beer is cold, yes. Uh, I forgot to order bacon. Uh, it has nothing to do with any religious preferences, no. I am very happy to uh, eat bacon. Oh yeah, chat is getting pretty, um, pretty active. <laughs> I, li I like this view, by the way. really see by the way that the sensor in my in the OnePlus Pro is pretty big you see how blurred out the background gets not many mobile phones can do that uh, ah yes my my secondary phone is a pixel yes got that right pixel 3 indeed um, oh thank you Takashi arigatou gozaimasu With avocado, yes, I ordered an avocado cheeseburger. Um, stream with stream and stream. Thank you, Wilson Young. Wow, people get super generous as soon as I sit down and eat. I guess I need to do more food streams then. Have another beer. Thank you, Wilson. I might do that. Okay, tilt camera so we can see more background uh, like this. Then you can't see, well, I guess until I get the food, um, I can show you this. Um, you get red face when you drink. Not really, no, no, unless I drink very much, but I'm not like, like my wife who has like one sip of wine and she turns into a shrimp. How many calories is your lunch? I do not know, but probably relatively high. 
we have Shake Shack next time. If you want, if you want me to do more burger streams, I, I will gladly do that. Food vlogs, I'm telling you. Yeah. Any GameStop store in Tokyo? No, I don't think so. A microbrewery is popular in Tokyo. Yes, yes. Uh, what's your alcohol tolerance? These days, I'm pretty weak, actually. So, if I have two beers, I feel a bit drunk. Three beers, I get very drunk. But if you ask me five years ago, then I would regularly have, like, at least five beers uh, whenever I went out. And I went out a lot back then. GameStop, actually, we, I think we, we have GameStop or used to have GameStop in Sweden uh, until quite recently. I think they're bankrupt now. Uh, do you like ramen? Yes, I do. How much do you weigh? I weigh... Uh, good question. Let me check. I keep forgetting. I don't really keep track on my weight that much, but I think... Uh, I think I have it in my Fitbit. Maybe. Yeah, last time I checked, my weight was 78 kilos. I have a bit of a belly, uh, but... Uh, this is a freshness burger. This How often do you live stream like this? Uh, usually... Saturdays and Sundays and then usually two or three times through during the weekdays as well I don't really have a fixed schedule, but Saturdays and Sundays Almost every weekend if the weather is okay, and then I try to do Tuesdays and Thursdays as well, but it's Yeah Have you been out to Fujino? Yes, I have been there once, but a very long time ago. Uh, uh. Oh, thank you, Colonel P Penguin. Thank you very much. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Hey. Okay, friends. I got the burger. Looks all right. Uh, and before eating, of course, there's the mandatory alcohol gel. And wash. And let's see. I'll show you the fries as well. There you go. Big chunky ones. Mm. arrange this in a way that makes any sense. I'm not good at food streaming. <laughs> I'm not used to it, as you can tell. Uh. Yeah, not a bad Not a bad burger. Onion is not good. Onion is not good. It's 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 actually not a terribly big burger. A 
you can see it's no I think I might have some space left for pizza after this the third of the burger already. Thank you, Laura. You did pizza with me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Got my beer. Um, is it expensive? Um, it's 1250 yen for all this, so that's I think quite reasonable considering that it's including the beer. I think the burger is 750 yen. Uh, yeah, 750 yen for the burger. And then 250 each for the fries and the beer. That's very cheap for a beer, actually, 250. Draft beer. burgers in Japan than in Sweden. Mm. There's so many different burger shops here in Japan and so many different burger shops in Sweden so but not a big difference. Nothing dramatically different I would say. Ketchup, yeah, I I didn't take any ketchup because they didn't have banana ketchup. <laughs> Just joking. And by the way, I will do a Patreon only stream tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning, Japan time. So um, if you haven't already, maybe consider joining me there. Uh, and um, if you join me on Patreon, you will also get access to my uh, wallpaper photo archive. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. And of course, you're supporting my channel, which will be highly appreciated. Do you prefer ketchup or mayo with your fries? Um, I don't know. Like now I'm just having them like this. Both ketchup and mayo feels just like you're adding so much unnecessary calories. So I usually don't do that. Just salt is fine with me. So in my Patreon only streams I generally talk about a little bit more I don't know, a bit more personal I'm a little bit more 
open. I show my face and um, try to talk and discuss a little bit about the future of my channel. So that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. Uh, oh, if you think that sounds interesting, maybe consider joining. Okay, I finished the burger. And yes, the link to my Patreon is in the video description. And also for those of you who don't know, like, if you support me through Patreon, it means that I get a bigger piece of the cake. If you're joining the membership here on YouTube, um, YouTube takes, uh, or Google takes uh, a third of the joining fee. Um, but I mean, either way is, is of course highly appreciated. And I just got a new member now. Thank you very much, um, John Chon. Thank you so much. Mm, I want see this. It was a good burger. I'm happy. I'm pleased. Final piece of potato here. No, there was one more hiding. Does Japan have Costco's? Yes, they do. Um, I haven't been myself though, but this uh, Costco's here in uh, Japan. Potato wari, uh, okawari. Tajibu <laughs> desu. Okay, folks, that was good, that was a good lunch, I am happy. Actually, now I feel pretty full. Let's see, let's keep on walking and we, we shall see if there will be any opportunity for pizza <coughs> uh, further down, further down the road. We've been walking for oh two hours now. That's not bad. Let's do another um, <coughs> another bit of walking. Another hour or so. Oh, so I spilled some sauce on my phone screen. That's not good. Well, I will clean it later. of me okay let's go let's head back down to the train tracks after that little detour got a very runny nose all of a sudden I guess Sitting in the shade made me a little bit cold.
look I haven't promised that I will get a pizza okay I don't think I don't think I can have a pizza after this I'm pre I'm actually pretty full now mm. maybe pizza for for next stream how do we watch your members only stream uh, that's the so there's no members only stream there's a patreon only stream uh, which the link will be um, on the patreon page for my patreon supporters to see um, for the YouTube members there's no members only stream it's a bit confusing I know and I'm sorry about that Oh, green or blue I just revealed my face oh that happens every once in a while it's okay Yeah, busy chatting. <laughs> so Thank you. So I just got a new patron follower or patron supporter. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Apartment rent in this area. I don't know, but a few stops away we saw we passed this real estate agent and there was some the cheapest apartment was thirty four thousand yen a month. So that's about three hundred forty US dollars. That's for probably for a very small, like less than 20 square meter apartment, though. But yeah, it's not so expensive around here because we're pretty relatively far away from central Tokyo now. Sure, why people watch this either, but I do appreciate those of you who do. Okay, this was not a park, I don't know what it is, but it's closed. It's a school. I think it's a school. Yeah, the thing with Tokyo is like you can actually live here relatively cheap. Uh, like, I don't think it's possible to live, you know, like if it's New York. Can you rent a place like 30 minutes from like the city center like Manhattan for like less than four hundred dollars 
That's not possible, right? It's not possible even in Stockholm uh, unless you're very, very lucky and cities like London and Paris as well are way more expensive but here in Tokyo there's actually plenty of apartments um, that are very cheap I mean of course they're tiny and they're probably old and not so nice but at least they are there are apartments like that I think I can see the train tracks down here. Yeah, mind you, we're still not that far from central Tokyo, like just 20, 25 kilometers or so. Um, by train I reckon it's about half an hour to Shinjuku which is like the biggest transportation hub in Tokyo so uh, oh Ray Ray look at this those are true connoisseurs we need to cross here and then we are yeah train lines are there so we're relatively close to the tracks again oh i'm surprised i didn't lose that many viewers from today's meal usually when i sit down and have a beer then people just leave the chat but i guess when i eat people stay
What food stuff did I miss? Uh, you missed me having uh, avocado burger at Freshness Burger and a beer. Grand City, Masashi Kogane. So, yeah, as I mentioned in the beginning of this stream, I was anticipating that we would see quite a few fields uh, as we got further, further and further away from central Tokyo. And as you can see, there's like some greenhouse simple greenhouses here seven fifty a month isn't that quite cheap for New York stay engaged with you while you eat and trying <laughs> <laughs> like the question mark in the title. Yeah, actually first I said Tachikawa question mark Because my first plan was to walk try to walk all the way to Tachikawa But then I felt that that might be pushing it a little bit too far so It will get you a shoebox in New York. But still, it will get you something. I thought actually it was more expensive than that. I didn't take in a skin of a show. あの、その一番好きのは瀬戸内海の方。あの辺海綺麗し、街もなんか雰囲気があるし、ちょっとなんていう子供の頃の頃のイタリアの旅。よく思い出す。Okay, so sorry about that. Rambling in Japanese. There was someone asked me about what what I like, what kind of places I like in Japan, and it's a question that I get asked all the time. And my standard reply is that there's so much variety in Japan. You have everything from areas like this to you know nature, mountains, forests, and then of course you also have these super urban places like Shibuya and Shinjuku. Cute post box, by the way, uh, and I like it all. It depends on my mood and my feelings, what kind of place I want to go to. I can't really say that I think one is better than the other. They all have their own charms.
Oh, and yes, thank you, Jane McFoxwood, for the super chat. Sorry, I think I forgot to say thanks. Thanks a lot. Surprised you also have Japanese followers. Yeah, I just did a follower country reveal like half an hour ago and actually Japanese like most of my viewers are from Japan now it used to be US but uh, Japan just surpassed US and now US is uh, on the second place Japan is number one got in trouble for filming lately no nothing since I started doing live streams instead it's uh, everything has been fine I think because the image quality is much worse uh, people don't care as much maybe I don't know Check the map again. grab some drink at Balsam. Actually no, I was thinking about it but that beer made me kind of feel like I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, so um, I'll be careful. I still have a bit further to walk so I will try to break well I don't know how, how to pull the pull those off in a way that doesn't feel too vulgar or uh, yeah Do you ever see police cars in Tokyo yes very often train tracks let's mute and be back right. you know, let's let's see if I find a bathroom where that's doable oh, such a random like one high-rise building over there A way to pause the video I don't think so no I don't think I can pause the video uh, I mean I could by opening another app maybe but let's see I'm still okay it's not like emergency level uh, to stream only for patron members <laughs> right. train tracks yes how long until next station good question 
Uh, we're about halfway there, I think. Looks like. Yeah, about halfway. Tokyo Keizai Dayakaku. So it's Economy University here. Oh, dead end. Dang. Hmm. Let's check the map. back to that main street oh, that's too bad there's actually yeah there's no good way to walk next to the train tracks uh, around here oh thank you uh, Orlando Velasquez thank you very much Colombian peso, huh? I was wondering what exotic currency that was. Are we in Tokyo or the countryside? Both! We are technically still in Tokyo, but we are pretty far out, so... I mean, I wouldn't call this countryside, but more like small town vibe. Bungie station coming up soon. Let's see. Bungie. So, Kintachi is still three stops away. And my battery is 39% now. smell like um, I don't know because I'm wearing a mask let's see there's no people around so. it smells cold and I have a bit of a blocked nose so I don't really I can't say I feel any other smells right now maybe it's corona hurt your nose or make your skin dry uh, a little bit skin dry but it doesn't feel so bad now not so bad uh, what's the 30 sign on the road that's probably the speed limit you mean this right and it's also written on the road that should be the speed limit can I walk here Oh yes, I can. Do you like wasabi? Yes, I do. I do like wasabi. 
a lot. Have you been to Gokayama? Uh, that's the place with all the attached roof houses, right? I've been to Shirakawa Go, uh, which is, I think, near. Is it Gokayama? I'm not sure. That's the place. Yeah, real wasabi is great. Totally agree. Paste is not bad, but definitely not the same thing as the real deal. Uh, weather is very nice. It is. It is. It is super peaceful. Uh, I've been in Japan 13 years. message about the FAQ it's very peaceful and nice here <laughs> what kind of shoes are you wearing? Also, one of the most frequently asked questions, shoe reveal. I do need a new pair though. I will try to get that soon. Dirty shoes, very dirty shoes. watch anime no I don't watch anime not anymore I used to when I was a teenager I was watching some anime but these days no I go out and stream in my free time so I don't have any time to watch anything let's cross here looks like we're getting close to the next station Way more dense. Hope you're walking again tomorrow. Yes, I do plan to walk tomorrow. Um, I uh, will continue this walk tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be good, so definitely. Machikudasai. Yeah. Kokubunji Station. Easy to moderate long walks like this every other day but seriously to all my moderators like really don't feel any pressure only join and mod whenever you feel like it I will never be disappointed or anything if you decide to you know skip some streams that's always totally fine Yes, I do miss Sweden, especially right now because I haven't been there for so long because of the pandemic. So I do miss Sweden a lot. 
Um, what part of Tokyo do you live? I live in the south of Tokyo, a place called Futako Tamagawa. How's Mini Explorer? Mini Explorer is great. She's with her grandma today. She's having a good time. I get frequent updates. Actually, I'm thinking about ending the stream here at Kokubunji Station. Um, I do feel a more and more urgent need to visit a restroom. And I've already been walking for two and a half hours. Uh, so, hmm, let me think about it. It's hard for you to learn Japanese. Uh, I'm still working on it. It's not something that you will ever master fully, that for sure. My Japanese is okay, but not great. Um, suddenly it feels very urban again. Now it feels like we could be anywhere in, like, I don't know, central Tokyo <laughs> with this scenery. The Japanese is excellent. Thank you. It's not. It's. It's okay. But hardly excellent. But thank you. So yeah, after this stream I will meet my friends at a COVID safe place for another beer or two. Uh, I wonder where the station is though. Lots of restaurants around here. Strong Zero are non Dakota Arimasca Arimas. Demo, Amariski Janai. Totomo, ma chato, Warui Kenga Arimas. Bakara. Wakai Korowa, Yoku no Mimasta Kiro, Imawa, no Mitakunai. Should be 
relatively close, yes. There we go, Kokobunji station. Oh, station's down here. Station's down here. Excellent. Yeah, sorry for not walking as far as I initially expected, but uh, it was a good stream, a good walk. I don't know how many kilometers I covered today. Let's check what my Fitbit says. According to my Fitbit, uh, 12k. You see this? That's the rainy weekend, or oh, not the rainy weekend, but the rainy days we had when it was really cold and even snowing a little bit. Uh, but and then I just stay inside and I don't move much at all. Oh, again, suddenly it feels like we're in a big city again. Wait, it looks like there's some sort of bridge or staircase over there. Let me let's just check out, check that out and see if we can get like a nice view or anything. Kokubunji station here. That's a good place to end the stream. But again, thanks a lot everyone who joined me today. I hope you enjoyed this walk as much as I did. It was indeed a very good walk. Very nice weather, nice variety, nice burger. Oh, and here's a moss burger. <laughs> but no more burger for me. Okay, that, those stairs are not so interesting. But anyway, thank you all for joining and I hope to see you tomorrow. So once again, Patreon only stream tomorrow morning at 10. And then I will continue this epic true line walk maybe starting around same time as today i think or maybe a little bit earlier we'll see anyway that's all for today thank you so much and uh, see you all next time bye bye matane hey do auf wiedersehen